We'll guide you through how to fix DS4 Windows not detecting your controller. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, connect your controller using its wire directly to your computer. Then go and see if that fixes the problem. If it doesn't, then go into settings and then scroll across here into utils and below that, go and click on device options. And just make sure you've gone and got the controller you're using selected here. If you have, then close off of it. Um, and if you made any changes, come back to controllers and go and see um, if it can go and detect anything. If it still can't, then what you wanna do is go and close off DS4 Windows like so. And you want to go into your settings. So come to the bottom of your computer and click on the start button and then open up settings. Go to the left and click on Bluetooth and devices. Then click on devices and scroll down right to the bottom and you want to go and click on more devices and printer settings. This will open up. Also to go and get here, if you're using a different version of Windows, you just need to open up your control panel uh, like here and then you need to go and click on hardware and sound, then devices and printers. Now, if you're on Windows 11, it'll take you straight here, which is why um, I went and clicked on devices. And then you scroll down again to the bottom and click on more device and printer settings and you're brought here. Once you're here, go and look for the pro controller. If yours is here, then just wait a moment. But if yours isn't here like mine, then what you want to do is try unplugging it and replugging it in. If yours just appeared as well, then what you want to do is go and open up DS4 Windows and go and see if it's then going and being detected. If I go and press start, as you can see, it's now appeared there. So that's going to fix the problem for me. However, if that still isn't working for you um, and your controller was already here, then what you want to do is go and right click on the controller and go and click on properties. And then you want to go and click on hardware and you need to go and locate the driver here, which is the HID compliant game controller. Click on it and then go and click on properties. And here you'll need to click on change settings and it'll go and reopen it as like an administrator basically. Then go and click on driver. And what we're gonna do is go and uninstall it. So press uninstall, just like so, and it should then go and uninstall it. And then all you want to do is go and unplug your controller and then go and plug it back in and hopefully it will then go and appear. And then once it's gone and appeared, it's gonna go and install everything it needs again. So just give it a few seconds. And then what you can do is go and close off this and go and open up DS4 Windows again and give it a moment and it will say starting and then hopefully it will go and find your controller. And then what you can do is go and press start and hopefully it will go and start working. And what you can also try doing as well is after we've sort of done these different changes, it may be worth restarting your computer as well. If you guys found this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video.